Hey, this is YBR with Beam and GE Drive, and today we're going to be taking a look at three Demolition Derby scenarios. One is called Demolition Derby Modded, the next one is called Demolition Derby Stripped, and the first one we're going to look at is called the Demolition Derby Stock. So let's go ahead and load this thing up. Wreck the other guys. Participants are counted out after 30 seconds, so keep on the move. Good luck. I like that this is a modded scenario, but they say good luck just like the official ones. Like, just small things like that make me happy. So anyways, there are four cars here. There is the Moonhawk, which is what I'm driving. There's a Covet, a Grand Marshal, and a 200BX, which is controlled by the AI. Now, there's two ways to really approach this. There is the I want to win and that's all I care about approach, which means you just kind of can just drive around in circles like I'm doing, and eventually they'll all get stuck and lose by hitting each other. But that's boring. That's really boring. The fun approach is just crashing everything, and if you win, hooray. If you lose, so what? At least you had fun. And that is the approach I'm going to take. I'm going to crash into everything and... You know, whatever happens, happens. If I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. I don't care because it's really easy to cheese your way through to a win, which isn't really the point for me. The point is just to have fun here. Because if you want to win, you're almost guaranteed that the AI cars will all get stuck in a glob eventually if you do nothing about them, and then you'll have to either clear them out or just let them sit there until you win. But that's why you always want to hit them. You want to keep them not hitting each other because they have a bad habit of just getting in a glob of cars if you let them just hit each other. I don't know why, but they like to do that. It's fun to them, I guess. There's a good hit on that Covet. I think the Covet may be taken out now. See, in the Grand Marshal, he don't realize that. He's just gonna go and glob up. And if I let the 200BX do what he wants, he'll probably end up hitting them as well, and then they're all stuck together. And you can win. Right there. Just like that. You win. If you wanted to see it's real easy to win because they'll eventually all time out but for the sake of fun it's much better just to say hey guys i'm here to solve your issues so we free up the 200 bx at least and uh well grand marshal will have to be in another attempt i don't know if i could free him actually he's up against the wall which is kind of a bad spot to be in i think i might be able to kind of come at him like this maybe but I have to have more torque than him and more weight behind me to be able to push him out of it. Perfect. Now we're all having fun again, except for the COVID. He's taken out. All right, that just hurt my suspension. That hurt it bad. My front left tire is now, it is back to the futuring half the time, so it's basically useless. So I have to rely on just my right tire. Looks like a 200BX might be out though. So I have taken out the 200 BX. it seems like. They can wiggle, but that's about it. So now it's just me and the Grand Marshal, basically. Unless they can wiggle forever, in which case then I'll have to take them out even harder. I don't know if that's the case or not, though. Now, I haven't hit the Grand Marshal much, unfortunately, so he's probably going to win this, because I've been busy hitting everything and everyone. Oh, no! Oh, no, I'm stuck! 200 BX, save us! Come on, 200BX, save us. Or am I, is my engine actually broken, or is it just I'm stuck? Because it don't look like those tires are moving, does it? Oh, they are, they are. I might be able to free myself clutch dumping the automatic, however that works. Because I'm just clutching, clutch out, clutching, clutch out right now, trying to free myself. Doesn't seem to work. All right, how about going forward? All right, so this is the unfortunate way to end this. Uh, this is like the everything went terribly and it's sad. Wait! 200 BX, come on, save the day. Push me, push me. He just wants to bump me, that's all. Well, I think we could go ahead and say that this one's over at the moment. Uh, nothing else of interest is going to happen, so let's move on to the next scenario, which is the Demolition Derby stripped version. Same description as before, so let's get started. Now the cars are pretty similar. We have a Grand Marshal over there that is a police version that's been stripped out. We have my blacked out Moonhawk. Then we have a Turner BX that appears to be a drift car. At least it was a drift car and now it's a derby car. And then we have a purplish pinkish Ibishu Covent. And I say purplish pinkish because one time I saw an argument on my channel about the color of a car. And I realized something. This dude's screen is too bright. This dude's screen is too dark. And they both were correct that the color they saw was the right color, but they were arguing so hard about which color it was, and it was hilarious. Um, but yeah, it's purplish or pinkish, depending on how badly colored your uh, colors are on your computer. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started at crashing them now that I've explained the colors of the cars. And 
right there. That's what happens when you don't touch them for a while. They all kind of get stuck on each other, so you have to give them a little bit of assistance here. So I'm just going to smash into that covet and push him off of the Grand Marshal, hopefully. Because, again, I could win pretty easily right there if I just le left them together. But it's not fun. And right now, it's all about the fun factor. Oh, that was so clean! I thought for sure I was going to crash, but nope. Let's get him right there. That should hopefully damage their suspension some, so it makes it difficult for them to drive. Because I think it damaged mine. And I got the better half of that hit, as far as I'm concerned. Incoming! I like that they all crash, and I just come in late for the extra hit. Oh, no. Covet, you pushing me now. Okay, I'm either stuck on the Covet, or... I'm broken. I think I'm stuck on the Covet. Unfortunately, this might be the end once again from something dumb. Nope, we're good. We're good. Go get that Grand Marshal in. Gotcha. Wasn't that hard of a hit, but I did get him. Hey, get off me. Nah, you can't touch me now. But I can hit you. The green car has timed out. He is dead. And with that, the purple car continues moving because he realizes, oh, I don't need to crash into him anymore. Grand Marshal, he's kind of dumb. He hasn't realized he doesn't need to hit the 200BX or something. I don't know. We can go and hit him, though. It looks like I may have, uh, killed that car. Oh, was that mine? Yes, that was my tire. Well, it's not going so well for me anymore. I'm down to three tires. I did better than the Covet, but I'm not sure how much more I can do with my tricycle car. Does theirs have all their tires? Yeah, they do. Of course they do. I could try to trick them into hitting the Covet, but I don't think that'd be very successful. Come on! Go, go, go! Maybe they broke down. In your face! Nope, they were just cheat. They were just cheating. Pretending to be broken. You hit that wall, you idiot. Now you get extra hits, and I'm stuck inside a main guy. Oh, how unfortunate. I think this is how things will have to end here. Because I don't see us going anywhere. Oh, wait! Freedom! Let freedom! No, not quite. We have to jiggle it back and forth. Forward! Reverse! Forward! Reverse! This isn't working, is it? I'm pretty sure I could jiggle better than them, though, so yeah, I'll win like that, but that's cheaty-ish. Now, you can try to use any car you want, and it almost works. Like, it, it, it looks like it works, but then it doesn't. So, for example, let's say we wanted to use the bar-style drag edition here because you wanted to have a 1,000 horsepower in a demolition derby. It looks like it works, right? But the AI breaks when you change cars, it seems like. Unless there's some sort of exploit to fix that, the AI kind of just stops. Like, they were moving at first. It looks like, what is Robbie talking about? They're still moving, but then they stop. So you can still hit them, sure, but where's the fun in hitting non-mobile targets? Like, you could do that without the scenario. So if you wanted to use a custom car, tough luck. You have to use the Moonhawk and the Moonhawk only. Unless there's some exploit that you can use to make it where the AI works after you change out the car. But I don't know of such an exploit at the moment. Um, it almost looks like it would work if you reset it maybe but then it switches your car back to what you had before so that won't work either anyways let's go ahead and take a look at the next scenario which requires a couple of mods to be installed actually so this scenario needs let me show you the mods actually just so you can see them real quick this scenario needs both the gravel grand marshall wagon mod by ar162b and the brocco moonhawk mod by ar162b both of the links for those mods are uh, available at the download link for the scenario, so you can just pick it up there. Now let's go ahead and load up that scenario. It's called Demolition Derby Modded. Once again, we have the exact same description, but the cars are different. Our car is a derby version of the Moonhawk, so once again, we are using a Moonhawk. The red car right there is a derby version of the regular Grand Marshal. The blue one is a derby version of the Moonhawk Wagon, and the green one is a derby version of the Grand Marshal Wagon, both of which are part of the 
AR162B mods that I was talking about earlier. So if you're one of those, all you would have to do is download that mod. So we can go ahead and crash into the cars like this. And unfortunately, I noticed something. It seems like uh, the modded cars are a little bit more likely to get stuck together, it feels like. I don't know if it's just coincidental or what, but it seems like I'm much more likely to get fully stuck in a car like so when I was using the modded version, which kind of sucks because I like the, this car a lot better because it looks a lot more appropriate, but unfortunately, it's not like we can do much in this situation. Like, like I'm trying to free me here. I'm really trying, but, you know, I can only do so much. I can accelerate going left, accelerate going right, and then reverse going left and reverse going right, and that's truthfully it. So we could reset this and try it one more time. Hope it goes a little better than that, but like I said, unfortunately, it seems like they like to stick together. I think the least likely to stick together was the strip version because they don't have all the bumpers and stuff to get stuck on each other because that's usually what happens. Two bumpers get intertwined and then you get stuck together. And as you can see on this one, these ones do have bumpers. I mean, for a real demolition derby, it's great to have a bumper. You can hit a car with uh, minimal damage to your car. Unfortunately, I think uh, Beam and G bumpers aren't that great physics-wise. At least in this modded version, I don't know. Like I say, it could just be coincidental, but it's a lot of coincidences that adds up. It did it like three times in testing, or I totally got stuck really fast. And then it did it right there on camera as well, which is unfortunate. Now they're all stuck together, which happens regardless of the version you have. We could try to free them a little bit, but they are in there, aren't they? Man, they are really stuck together. Come on, guys, what are you doing? This is not how you demo a derby. So yeah, they're actually stuck. They're not just ramming each other, they're stuck. And now, oh, I, I got myself free, but I was stuck temporarily. You can tell that the Red Grand Marshal is trying to escape, but he can't. And I'm hitting these guys left and right, but they are definitely stuck. And since this arena is so small, I really can't get up to that much of a speed. There we go. I think I freed the green car. Okay, so he's free. Red and blue on the other hand. There. Now they're free too. So everybody is free to continue driving. Unfortunately, the AI is not that kind to you if you get stuck. They're just there. You're going to keep crashing into each other. All of crashing you and then you have three cars stuck together. Because that's how AI logic works. And they're stuck again. All right, guys, I'm here to help. Oh, no! I'm stuck on his bumper. Or maybe it's his... I don't know if it's his bumper or rear quarter panel, but we're stuck on something. Um, weird. My controller is acting funny. There we go. That was... Wait. There we go. I don't know what that was about. My controller was just in reverse no matter what I was doing. You can see though, these cars do seem a little bit more durable than the other ones. Like, we're still all driving as long as I unstuck them. And unstucking is not a, a uh, peaceful procedure, it's pretty violent. Oh, now I'm stuck unstucking them. Nope, I'm good, I'm free. I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. Told ya. Oh, now I'm really stuck. Let go of me! Blue, help! Yeah, right. He's a wagon. He's gonna help the wagon. Oh, yeah, that's so demolition derby. Look at this. Oh, you almost scratched the paint. Be careful, man. Who's missing a tire? No, really, who is missing a tire? It must be red. Because nobody else seems to be missing one. Oh, yep, they're missing one. Um, well, that's about the end of this one, unless, of course, I reset it and start it over because there's no way to teleport your car when you're in a scenario if you try to it doesn't work as you can see there and you could try hitting insert which does like the recover but that also does nothing and you hit r which totally resets everything or you could change the car i mean that's kind of a solution oh i just lost never mind if i wanted to i could change my car out to the uh something really crazy i wonder if you change the car before no you can't change it before it starts because if you try to pull up the menu then the timer starts. Also, that bus you're seeing, that's the next video. So you don't have to worry about that. It will be there soon. Uh, I just wanted to do this video first. 
because I like doing videos for scenarios because they do something that's different. You know, review vehicle reviews are all kind of the same. This is different. Like here, we're gonna just yeah. Like I know they're they're a non-mobile target, but you know what? It still feels good to smash them like that. It feels real good. Um, anyways, though, these are the three demolition derby scenarios that are available with the mod. I'm gonna go ahead and end this one here. I wouldn't have minded if they were at different locations, but oh well. What you gonna do? Anyways, till next time. This is from YBR. I'll see ya.